is what time is it? 1:43 a.m. We just got to the hospital. My water broke. I'm documenting everything while I can still do it. <sighs> this is me and Hubs Hubs. It's gonna be good. 1 44 a.m. 23rd February 2021. This is a total different experience because I needed to pee. And then after peeing, boom, water came gushing down. So we're about to get inside the hospital and find out what's going on. Yeah, they might be coming today. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm trying to be goofy, guys. My water broke. The water broke. So, Umogel is admitted in hospital. Basically, what happened, my water broke at. 1 a.m. I felt an urge to pee. I went to pee. I first ignored it. I'm like, mm, sleep is so nice. Let me sleep more. And it was like, baby, say it's press bladder. So I got up and I went to pee. And then after peeing, gosh, the water, it's warm, it's clear. I'm like, this could be some extra pee. And then I realized it's... Thank you. I realized it's not um, pee at all. It's actually amniotic fluid. My membranes just ruptured. So I'm like, babe, I think my water broke. Like we've been watching videos and things... Even like one TikTok of some lady, she was doing a TikTok dance and then pa. So I'm just thinking of all these things that like, so am I really going through this now? Like it's so different to the first time because with Mercy, oof, more just coming. Like I've been having like water coming out my vagina the whole time since it broke. So with Mercy, I was 40 weeks. Now I'm 37 weeks and four days. My baby shower was literally, it's, it's Tuesday now, it was on Sunday, on the 21st of Feb, 2021, it's the 23rd of Feb, 2021, and my water broke sooner than I had thought it would break. My hospital bag wasn't packed, so... You can just imagine how chaotic my AMs were, 23rd of February, 2021. So Bay and I just like racing. I'm like, babe. So after it comes out, I wipe. I come back to bed. I'm like, let's just sleep. Maybe it will stop. Maybe it's not what I think it is. As I'm laying in bed, more. I'm like, babe. I put my fingers, it's clear water. I show him. And then he's just like, should we just go to hospital? I'm like... <sighs> I had plans to do the most. Firstly, drop off my daughter at school. And then I had gift cards from the baby shower. Just go get a few more things that might be helpful for my hospital bag, which... I wanted to film. I wanted to film the baby's hospital bag and my own hospital bag. So God's plan changes everything. 
changes your plans because he's God, you know? So I'm just like, wow. Like, a part of me is like, wow. We're still in bed. The lights are still off. I take a torch and I show him. This is like, wetter than usual. And then I try just ignore it and then wah, a gush this is a lot of water now i stand up it's even dripping i don't sleep with underwear because like the coochie needs to breathe i'm pregnant i don't like things squishing me especially around my vagina area so it's gushing he's like ah, ah. he grabs a jacket he's like don't pack anything. Just tell me what you need. Let's go to hospital. Takes doctor. Call doctor. So first thing I do is takes the doctor. And then I try to call him. But I figured he's sleeping. Because he didn't pick up. But at least I know. If I go to hospital, they'll still um, reach out to him. So yeah. Now I'm like, okay. Funny enough, yesterday I was um, like before sleeping which is yesterday because it's a.m. now the 23rd yesterday like i was arranging the baby's clothes but i hadn't packed them in the bag so i just take the things i want to be in the baby's bag i start arranging that and then i arrange my hospital stuff my hair nets because i feel like this wig is going to hop right off i ain't trying to have a wig squeezing my head at least it's not glued in it's just put on i have nice fresh cornrows so I don't care. I'll just wear my bonnet, my silk bonnet, for when things get hectic. So I arrange all my stuff. I grab slippers. I pack another pair of slippers on the bed. I pack my night dresses. I packed. I have one gown here already. It's here, and I wore like just lounge loungewear, like comfortable stretchy pants and a top and i left some of my stuff on the bed that i'm gonna need hubby to help me just pack in a bag and then i put my toiletries that i'll need on the side my toothbrushes i brush my teeth i had already i bathed every night and shower every morning so i had bathed at night so it was just like oh let me just put aside things i'm gonna need them to pack so they don't need to struggle much oof oof more water. oh mm. i'm feeling mm. more water i'm feeling pressure like a lot of pressure like on my pelvic oh guys it's real Oof. so yeah that happens after the gush like i'm just trying to arrange everything i pack the baby stuff mainly the clothes because i'm very picky and i want things in a certain way i don't wouldn't want to instruct them to pack this and then they pack their own things so i made sure i just do the clothing part hubby will help me do the nappies and everything he'll facetime me and i'll just um, direct him so farewell to my hospital bag vlog because things happened much sooner and i didn't think i would be in labor this soon judging from my previous labor which was at 40 weeks and now it's like 37 weeks and four days it's so true that every labor is different like very true i never thought i'd experience this whole thing of my water breaking like it's such a movie thing and i'm leaking guys like i'm leaking so much the amniotic fluid is like doing the most so i got gotcha. you i was at emergency the lady was just like go straight to maternity there were like two men in front of me that were at emergency they helped me first she's like go to again 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 we are straight he directed me i did that came here hubby was waiting for me at reception obviously because like he still has to do his COVID stuff which was scheduled to be done on the 28th of feb because doctor was planning if labor doesn't happen on its own he's gonna induce me on the 2nd of march the baby is due on the 12th of march but is bigger than mercy's birth weight 
so doctor was not gonna allow the baby to get to 40 weeks if she didn't come herself we were gonna get induced next week tuesday yeah but baby just couldn't wait and i'm thankful that i'm thankful that at least the baby shower happened so yeah guys that's the story of my life right now 20 21 23rd february so i'm guessing it's gonna be a february baby pisces and yeah so i just got to reception they were very nice the lady was very nice and helpful she's like dude yeah because I, I kept saying am i supposed to be here am i supposed to come she's like yeah dude it's very risky after your water breaks to not be at the hospital because we can monitor you monitor you and everything here yeah, i came they tied my belly check the baby's heart rate check my contractions i am contracting i'm one centimeter dilated and that was at 2 a.m when she said i'm one centimeters dilated it's 3 45 now like quarter to four so i don't i know they're gonna check me again i had to fill in some forms i did my covid tests obviously given my medical aid information i did the bed booking last year already so everything is just easier because i did everything on time except pack my hospital bag how annoying so yeah guys i won't have a hospital bag vlog and unfortunately but i will do like other stuff like there's a lot more to share with you guys and i'll vlog this experience that was my plan with my next pregnancy so i'll just yeah try my best i do have my camera one thing i did pack like in my never fall was my camera my camera charger and battery my purse eight hour cream eye drops because i cried so my eyes were red and i don't know if i'm gonna cry again i cried because i was in shock i didn't expect it to happen this soon so i was just like what i'm in labor so i have my eye drops and my id and babe will bring the rest of the stuff later this morning mercy was meant to I, i've been dropping her off at her new school so hubby will check if she wants to go today but i just feel like my baby who's gonna get her ready because i'm so used to getting her ready but let's see if she like the dad won't force her so if she wants to go he'll take her but if she doesn't want to go she can stay home until we back home from the hospital with her sister so yeah guys that's the story of my 23rd of february 2021 i've had a back morning from 1 a.m until now my membranes membranes ruptured and i'm still leaking i have a pad even yeah that they put under me in a little napkin to lay on like i've been leaking throughout so basically now i just have to instruct hubby on what to get what to bring and my nanny on what to pack i've already taken out the bags i'm using mainly the baby stuff but they might need to they don't even it's not even a might it's a must the bags they have to pack and hubby needs to go get some stuff that I was meant to get myself today. Like, everything is happening so fast. And the nursery furniture is arriving today or tomorrow. Like, I'm just like, what's going on? Like, why is every everything happening so fast? But yeah, it is what it is. That's, that's the magic of just how God does things. It's, it'll never happen the way you plan always. So I'm trusting in him and I know baby girl and I are going to be just fine. I am getting an epidural even though I'm not induced in a spontaneous labor. 
one thing about me i don't like pain i don't want to put myself through screaming and like something that's gonna just make me i can't because i can't say you i want to like birth is painful but i can make the experience much smoother with um with pain with pain stuff pain medication so we are guys that's basically the update let me show you guys the room they've put me in for now this is the room they've put me in for now ow ow keep like the baby is like pressing down on me i don't know what she's doing that's the gown i packed i'm still gonna bring like my other one that one is too hot i, I didn't survive with it it's like a toilet in there when i got inside i had to pee in like a jar and they had to swab my um my amniotic fluid with like this cotton thing to check if it's really amniotic fluid or pee so it is amniotic fluid i am in labor if it's not amniotic fluid the swab turns yellow and if it's amniotic fluid the swab turns blue they gave me these things but i know my own stuff are coming with hubby soon but i'm stuck here until baby arrives but this is not the birth room i'm gonna definitely be in a different room for birth and they've called my doctor as well and yeah i think i need a pee so i'm just gonna get up I need a pee. <coughs> they've taken my blood pressure everything they've monitored the baby stuff so now they told me to rest but it's really hard for me to rest guys see how much fluid i've been leaking this is a napkin that's all the fluid that's coming out of me. So my main brain's literally ruptured. Like see on. See on. Oh, where's the light to this thing on? Like I do not like hospital toilets and like just everything here is not cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to pee quickly and try rest. It's almost 4 a.m. It's not 4 a.m. already. And I'll check you guys later. I'll update y'all later. Bye. The water keeps coming. Like, it's a lot. It smells like water. It's very clean. I just like I'm shocked because I've never experienced I'm shocked because I've never experienced this before like I didn't know it comes like throughout on and on and on and on and on so weird I'm a woman this is what we go through it's 5 a.m. now I keep having contractions, like they becoming more regular now. I've timed the contractions to see how long it takes before I have another one. So yeah, they're tense, but I can still bear with them, but I feel that okay something is just tightening and hurting so I'm, I'm trying to time them so I can just monitor the progression of the labor it's 5 a.m. now I try to sleep but it's so hard I have so much running through my mind like I'm such a perfectionist so I'm just like worried about everything that still needs to be bought back to me here at the hospital and packed obviously I've sent screenshots and pictures of what Javi has to get 
to him and our voice notes at the nanny as well. Oh, I'm tired. I think there's just going to be a point where they have to give me something to rest. Depending on how everything goes, obviously. And I'm kind of sad because my doctor traveled. Like my actual gynae is out of the country. So he has a backup gynae that's going to be helping me today. This was so spontaneous because he had thought baby would chill longer and scheduled me for an induction on the 2nd of March. But baby decided to come sooner and he's out of the country currently. They called him so he has another doctor that's going to be helping me. Apparently she's nice. So let's just see. I was just so used to my doctor and... I was expecting him to help me today. But anyway, it is what it is. This mosquito bite is eventually going slowly, but yeah, whatever. It's the least thing I could care about right now. I'm about to have a baby, so I'm just praying for a smooth journey i am gonna have an epidural that is a must and yeah i'll keep you guys posted have all these monitors on me now checking the baby again it's 6 a.m in the morning I haven't slept. They need to give me something to sleep because you it's very hard to sleep now. I'm having contractions. They are 10 minutes apart. And they last for about 2 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes apart. Mm. We're pushing through. I'm still leaking like a pond our girl is leaking it's no joke this gush is a lot a lot a lot a lot i'll check you guys soon again my contractions went from being 15 10 minutes apart it's morning it is almost 7 a.m i haven't slept i think they're gonna need me to take something to rest a little bit is like all the way down there it's quarter to eight from the moment I got to hospital My contractions are much closer now. Hello. Yeah, well, got in my drip. My tag. I'm three centimeters. I'm drowsy from them. The meds. I'll check you guys a bit later. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get eighty euro. In. I know. She was saying to her at eleven, you know, we'll consider eighty euro. But she was like sleepy. At least it was helping yeah. me in the room. But still, like, um, wait. Yeah, don't enjoy my cookie. No, no. I was gonna say, um, <laughs> yeah, not the cookie, just the size. Thank you, darling. You know what? Now we need. When the urge comes, we are going to all count one, two. Three, four, five. So you hold it and you push. Okay. Uh, and so that injection will help me not feel that thing. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm busy okay. Yeah. Okay. You've done well. This is the quickest, but it's a, a difficult one. Okay. So once you can get through this, I promise the baby is here. <sighs> When it comes to the edge there, almost. It's coming. Yes, okay. my baby. Okay, right. there Let's we go, go. sweetie. Wow. One, two, two three, three, four, five, five. Go, go. six, come on. Seven. Eight, nine. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Beautiful. Yes. Come on. Yes. yes. Don't stop. Yes. Don't stop. Don't stop. Deep breath and Don't stop. <sighs> yes. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Baby's here, mommy. Baby's oh. here. Baby's here. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, my baby. Well. Yes. Very, very well. Okay, remember to press against me, right? You won't break me. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. Push. There we are. Oh, beautiful. Push. So much yeah. hair. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Come on. Yes. Oh, All right, so I want me. you to be able to pull her head forward. Okay? So, like that. And then pull it forward. Yes. Push, 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 push. Yes, mm. chin on the chest, chin on the chest. Yeah. If the, when the urge comes, yes, there it is. Go for it, my angel. Uh. Yes, my Beautiful. Uh. Yes, my darling. Yes, uh. yes, yes. Yes, come, yes. come, come. This head is coming. Uh. You're not pressing Press against push. me. Oh. Press, press, <laughs> press, Keep press. Pressing. Yes. And then bring your hands here, my angel. Come. Yes, look at that. Yay! Go Who's so disrespectful to be I'm calling right. when I'm delivering a baby? Push, push. Turn it over, okay? Relax, 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 relax. Relax, okay? Oh, eight, there. seven. Okay, mommy, daddy, you can take a picture. Yay! And the <laughs> Sweet oh, oh, what a big baby. Hello, my girl. Hello, sweetie. Baby, welcome, my angel. Did it again. Welcome. <laughs> you are a superstar, eh? Yeah? Hey. Give her a kissy. Give her a kissy. Yeah. Her a Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, baby. <laughs> you see, you did it without oh, baby. <clears throat> Congratulations. Okay. All right. Welcome, so happy birthday. You can birthday. take pictures as well as uh, a video at the same time. So you can okay. Birthday, yeah. Happy so that birthday, my pictures. baby. Okay, take out your phone. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweetie. Happy birthday. Hmm? You're so oh. cute. Hello, mama. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it is. So you're gonna, are you gonna be able to take pictures at the same time? She got someone heard this for Sister, me. please help. Me. <laughs> yeah. So we must be able to see that it's you cutting the umbilical yeah. cord. Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. The drooling. Oh yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, yeah. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Right? Congratulations. What a healthy baby. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, girl. Tell them you're here. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, this is such a beautiful delivery, hey? Yeah, so well.
I'm gonna be here. Look at me pointing. I'm not telling you. No, I know. You know me. Hello, hello. So, Shane, you only have like a scratch, not even a tear. Sorry, baby. Sorry, love. Mm -mm. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Okay. Maybe a two or rapid, and okay. that's it. Hello, sister. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Look at those cute lips. They say kiss me. So, I'm going to walk in Kardashian. I'm going to go. Hello, mama. Hey, sister. Hey, mommy's angel. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> this one has bigger lips than Mercy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Where are you getting these? Oh, I'm just sister. telling Mercy now she wants to follow me. I'm telling her we are coming to Tikana. I'm so happy. People will never believe it. <laughs> ah, I can't believe sister. I did this. Yeah, no. Is it so? <sighs> then Sorry. I need more lip now, Ken. Okay. So it's just the lip that got cut, not the bottom. Mm. So I need to put it back and make mm. it look good. Okay. I'll stop the video. Yeah. Yeah, I can start, start with it. Hello. Hey. It's so weird. I'm stitching it. She's just like messy. She's just like messy. Yeah. Hello. A little skin to skin moment. I tried making her latch on my boob, nothing is coming out yet. But I'm so thankful. I love her so much. She is perfect. Just what I had imagined her to be like. Happy birthday, Maya. Happy birthday, my angel. Oof, yeah, hey. I felt it. No epidural. Everything happened so fast. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it without epidural, but I did it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Your grace and mercy for the smile. Hey guys, it's been a long, long day for me since 1 a.m. Quarter past one. Now it's like five. Baby was born at 10.41. She's perfect. I'm obsessed with her. I'm just tired. I'm just grateful to God and thankful to God that all went well. Faster than I expected, but it went well. Now let me love up on her and give her a million kisses. Munch, 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 munch. Baby Maya. Maya and her Yoruba name is Motonrayo. Motonrayo. Meaning we have found joy again. My wig is the ghetto. Everything is the ghetto right now. Nothing is cute, but thank God, regardless. Always. Because first night, baby is latching from the boob. Mimi's and Mush Mush, Mercy and Maya. <laughs>